just told you last night that masks would be required in middle and high schools in North Carolina, but not in elementary schools. So we want to bring in our education reporter now first, Elsa Gillis. Elsa, why are the youngest of the students in elementary schools being left out of this? Well, Erica, the mandate doesn't apply to children under the age of 11, though it is encouraged for elementary school students. It's only required for middle and high schoolers, school staff and those adults visiting schools. It's definitely going to be hard for them to welcome this change and be in the change. But CMS teacher and parent Jolandra Houston says we can use this time now to prepare students for the fall and the many changes likely ahead. Going back to schools and they're seeing their desks are separated further apart. They can't eat in the cafeteria and they have to wear masks and including temperature checks can cause children to have anxiety. So it's very important that we prep them. She even started a program two years ago called Little Germinators to educate kids in a fun, positive way about hand washing and germs and has seen success. It's relevant now more than ever, and she says if we start educating at home and in the community, it won't be such a challenge for students. Implementing them in the house as well as at school, because it takes all of us. We are all in this together. Anything we can do to keep people safe and to get our kids back to school, I think we just need to do it. We met parent Allison Walsh and her children with masks on today, something she says they've been wearing and will continue wearing, including in school. I don't know about everyone else's experiences with distance learning, but if a mask will let my kids go back to school and be in a classroom with their teachers, I am all for it. Responsible. Exceptions to the mask mandate for everyone, including those who shouldn't wear a face covering because of a medical condition or disability. Well, so of course, it's looking very clear that if children go back into the classrooms uh, in the fall, it's going to look very different this year. Uh, but what about those parents who just don't feel like it's safe to send their children back? Yeah, so Erica, schools are required to have plans in place for families or staff at a higher risk of illness. But for families who are just not comfortable, you know, I have spoken with the state superintendent about that. He is aware that some families may want to continue remote learning in some form or another, just not being comfortable sending their kids back to school. So they are aware of that concern and are working on plans. Yeah, and that's if all students uh, do go back, right, Elsa? That's right. We are expecting some announcement about that. We're told it will happen by July 1st, so less than a week to go. Yeah, a lot of parents like myself waiting to hear the final answer. Thank you, Elsa.